Um, wow, this is this is wonderful. Uh, it's a real privilege to speak with you, Bill, Donnie, Nancy. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Thank, thank you. you. I, I I really mean this. this. The film is absolutely wonderful. Um, oh. It really is. I thought it was. It's just across the board. The performances are great. Um, I, I would like to know how this how this came to be. I mean. Donnie, Nancy, how did how did you and Bill connect and how did this come to life? Well, I'm going to drive that Bill to do this. I was going to say it started with Donnie. I mean, because it, it, it always started with the, the, the story started with that. Um, and obviously, the movie picks up like halfway through, you know, the progress or the of the album um but you know as far as i got involved or how i became aware of the story it was through jim burke but it really it was really the story that stephen wrote um and that you you lived through so well let's see how can i interject on that I had to that. Uh, no, it's not a very good way. Okay. No, no, it's fine. It's fun, Bill. It's all good. I'm just, I just want to, my thought patterns, I just got to make sure Do I. Do you want to ask it again? No, no, no. How it all kind of, kind of happened. I mean, you know, when Bill says, yeah, it'll happen with the music and it started right there. There's so many things that have to happen to make this happen. Someone asked me this just the other day, just yesterday, it was a well known guy. He asked me this. First, I had to have a great dad. I had to have a great father. I had, you know, great mom. I get so emotional sometimes. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> Why don't you sit? Hey, Tony gets very emotional about the story. He saw the movie and it makes him cry. But no, no, he's lived it. He's lived it. So there's a lot. His dad's 92, his mom's 89. You know, he's just a lot of emotions with the dad. I think years ago, the family and the music was exciting. But when you reach a certain age, it is a whole different aura of experience. And so the whole family is going through such a wonderful, beautiful roller coaster of reality of, you know, what's happened before in the past and what's happening now and it's just a beautiful ride so it's very emotional so Don, well, donnie gets teary-eyed i get teary-eyed i i cried I, every time i've seen the movie eight times what I love, wait a minute you weren't yeah, talking so I'm now sorry. i'm talking i'm joking <laughs> that's, okay. that's okay you watch welcome, welcome to our marriage you you watch the film you watch the film obviously and then you the scene you know there's that scene where my dad's speaking to us on the on the porch you know my dad just has this had this way that his work ethic boom 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 you don't get things happening in life by luck you get it by having perseverance determination and you got to know it comes from god you got to know that first it doesn't come from you it comes from god he gives you perseverance and he gives you determination to keep going he gives you that ability and my dad was always like that. My mom was always told me that. It's not you, Doug. They get that out of your head. Okay? So it started with the music, but I was inspired. But my dad cultivated that with me and saw that in me. It kept going and going. All these circumstances have to happen. There's so many circumstances that have to happen to make a story like this come to the screen. When Jim Burke came to us and said, Donnie, you know this takes like about three years to do a film. Well, this is what took what five, Bill? Close to five? Like yeah, that. six. Let's say six, I think. Yeah, six. And six. Jim Burke is the other producer. I yeah, Jim Burke. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I've always been raised that God is, is what creates this, it makes this happen. He inspires, he, he gives He gives us inspiration. We don't get inspiration by just, just, oh, I dream of inspiration. I don't believe that. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe any of that. It's given to us. He inspires us. He he indwells in us in our spirit. I, I really believe that the Holy Spirit lives in here. Okay. And so I take that to heart. 
I, I, I really take that to heart. I've never been any anything else. That's, when I sit down and write a piece of music, I, I, I go like, well, thank you, Lord, for giving me that piece of music. That was unbelievable. And so I have to give it all to God. So. It, it, it truly is an incredible, incredible story of how it un, all unfolds. And I love that what you're saying there, because there is that balance, especially those scenes with your with your with your dad as well, your mom and your dad. And, and there's this there's this balance between hard work and faith at the same time, which comes through this story so clearly. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. You can't have you can't you can't you got that, that you, what, it, what's, it, the scripture says you, you can't have you got to have works too with faith. You got to have both. You can't keep you can't you can't. You can't just say your works because you're not saved by your works, but you do have to work. You yeah. got to get up, don't you? Yeah. I saw Bill out there working. I was only on the set a couple of times. I saw him out there in the cold doing his thing. I said, man, that guy's working like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Because And I was on set a little bit more than Donnie because we were doing the music during the filming. So we were actually in the recording studio, laying down instrumental parts and vocal parts. So we were doing a lot of stuff, but I was able... Donnie has to do more in the studio, obviously, because he's a producer, engineer, and stuff, and editing his music part. So I got to go on the set more, but I would watch Bill working, and he would take time to talk to me. And I'm like, what? Me? <laughs> You're talking to me? Because he's so busy. He had all these people around. And then one day, he wasn't able to talk with me, but I wasn't even planning to talk to him. I'm just watching Bill direct this film. And he tells me the next time I'm seeing him, I think he wrote it. I think he wrote it, Bill. He says, I'm sorry I wasn't able to say hello to you. He wrote text. And I was like, wow. So that tells you he wasn't just there to make a movie. He was there to make connections with everybody. And that came yeah. across because he actually texted. Yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't able to say hi to you. I was just so busy with this. And I was like, I didn't expect you to say hi. So that's important to me. Yeah. Because even though people may not say anything, like, hey, you didn't say hi to me, they they either want you to or they don't. But when you acknowledge that you didn't, that's awesome. So those are relationships. Those are, this is a great thing. Bill got it. He knew who he was dealing with. This wasn't the other movie he did. This wasn't the last movie he did. It was this movie. And he got it. And a lot of them that worked on this, they got it. It was real, it was authentic, and it's godly. You know, that's how we see it, because none of this is through Bill or us. You know, we didn't create ourselves. So, I don't know. It's great. It's true. Uh, I love I love what you're talking about here and just the atmosphere on, on set and, of course, working, working with Bill. Um, I was wondering for you both what it was like working with, with Zoe and Casey, because uh, it must be such a, a bizarre experience to have well-known actors that you've probably seen in multiple films and say, okay, you're me now. Yeah. Um, what was that process like for you? Do you want to go first or me? Well, do you want to ask, Bill, do you want to? Sure. I mean, it sounds like it's for you mostly, you guys. <laughs> well, with me, with Casey, that, that was, it's pretty simple. I, I'm looking at Casey and I'm actually looking at myself, how I act at times. You know, I mean, he, we just had this connection. When I first I saw him on 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 a Zoom call, that he was going to be, he was looking at possibly being taking on this role, and I went to Bill. I said, "Can't let this guy go. This this is the guy. This is this is the guy." I, don't, I you know, I saw him in Manchester by Sea. That you know, I I knew that he. he well, we know. we had seen Casey as Zoe. Oh, I seen him years. years. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So here we are. You know watchers of a film here we are fans of their work and um so to hear their names and i oh, donnie oh, oh, donnie sorry. hadn't seen it but i had seen casey win his oscar so when it was on television i saw it real time that's exciting because we're business people mm. and so very nice we're very pleased so what i liked about casey too is what I, this is what i liked is he reminds me of an old actor um, that acts with his eyes. He doesn't have to say a lot of things. 
you just look at you a certain way. And 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 I and I've always admired that in actors that can do that, and and he's that way. Yeah, and it was cool because Noah too. Noah came to our house, so Casey and Noah were here, and again we had seen Noah too, who plays younger Donnie in so many things. And it's true. I mean, I could go on and on and on and tell people we were fans of these people. Yeah. Everyone that was in this cast, Barbara plays his mother. We hadn't seen her, uh, but because these guys are have done mutual things for years. Um, but to have them in our house, to have them in our recording studio, it was fun. <laughs> and I don't use that word lightly because, again, I take work very serious. But I had to admit, you fun. know what? It's okay it to have good, fun and enjoy this. Yeah. And I'd call a couple of my friends and be like, "Yes, who's sitting at my dining room table right now?" You know. <laughs> I got to tell you, I, when I first met Bo Bridges, which I was so excited to, yeah. to meet him, I was just so excited to meet him. Um, I remember going on set because I was on the set a couple twice and I can't remember uh, so I I remember coming out there and I was watching from a distance from the barn because it is that you know the film is shot on the actual property everything's out there okay I see him from a distance I thought that was my dad you know yeah. and so I I looked at him, oh it's Bo I went Bo and he said no son he starts walking towards me and it was like it was just an instant connection I mean it's like we were, he, he, it was just perfect I mean, he's, he's so I, I got on a different tangent there, up deeper, I guess. I suppose. No, I think you're you're asking, and the thing is, I watched Casey because it go from Casey Affleck to Donnie. It was mm. bizarre because he his hair was changing, his posture was changing. He was doing this around us. He would catch us unexpectedly. He would show up without any notice. Be like, is that Casey outside our house? because or we'd be in the recording studio and he's like pick up your phone pick up your phone he was trying to catch us i think off guard to catch the real donnie emerson and how donnie really acted and how donnie looked at his hair was sticking up or you know he hadn't jumped in the shower yet. i did notice one thing it was awesome i did notice one thing and i don't know bill i don't know what the deal was but it kind of just said there's this one scene where i'd seen casey was grabbing the 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 uh the newspaper or, you know, look at the newspaper mm -hmm. and hit cuticle. And it, you know, because I had problems with my, 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 uh, you know, I get nervous, you know what I mean? And I'm always doing this to my hands and stuff like that. And I could see that he actually had that. He had a little mm -hmm. curt, you know what I mean? It's like weird. He had a little problem with his nail. It's weird. Just, just on his own? Like that? Or... That might have been a coincidence. Well, it might have been, but he's the one I mean, I probably. I don't know. I certainly noticed it too, obviously. Um, Did you but you know, you know, uh, you know that he's channeling Donnie in different ways. You know, you can't always kind of put it into words how they do that, but a great actor will do that, and it may come down to that little thing on his thumb or something like that. I noticed. I noticed I it first because I always tell Donnie, "Be careful," because he plays guitar. But um, yeah, and then he he put contacts in his eyes too to change the color of his eyes and that was that was like what's happening so it was happening more and more and more and more it was neat that's so cool that's so cool uh, uh donnie you mentioned that things were shot on the property uh and one of the things that i think was so interesting about the film i mean is the conversation about performing in that studio and i think it might be casey uh, but it might have been it might have been um, uh, Chris playing Matt. I'm not sure. I'm not, or it might have been uh, whoever uh, the the gentleman. I can't think of his name right now. He was playing your brother. Somebody says that the, the they refer to the studio as like going to church. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I wondered uh, for the, for all three of you, I'd love to talk about that a little bit. What is uh, it about I can, the music? Yeah. What, what, oh, I'm just going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That that line was so beautiful because I know that that came from my brother. Yeah. Okay, and it's it's so true. We would go work in the fields and work up, the, and, and you you don't the work that we did is, is you know on that farm. You got 1,700 acres. First, you got you got to fence that whole thing. You got 1,700 acres. You got to fence it. Okay, the next thing you got to do, you got to cultivate it. Yeah. You, you and you got cows too. You got everything the whole thing we were dirty after work we worked a lot of hours on that farm and then we went and practiced and when we went to practice we cleaned up you know 
we cleaned up and, and basically dressed up to go practice because we're dirty. And it was like going to church. It was like, it was like, okay, we're going to church. Basically we're going into our space and this is a special space for us where we can, you know, do our thing. So most kids probably don't do that because they don't have to clean up, but we had to because we've got instruments and everything. See, and we're just dirty. We're filthy. Cool. Cool. Wow. That's the line that came from Joe. Yes. Uh, directly from Joe. So, you know, we tried yes. to do that as much as possible insert various lines from the actual family or from Donnie and Joe and Don Sr. I, I think that makes it more real to me. Yeah, it's amazing because sitting there in the yeah, theater no. and hearing Zoe say a line that I actually said, and it's that was fun, Bill, that you actually took their real line where Donnie's upset during the rehearsal. And I say, listen, what's, what's the name of the song? And they say, it's good time. I said, well, why don't you try having one? And this was said in front of all the musicians, you know, so that was real. So when I saw that in the film, boy, I cracked up because at the time it was very tense. But to see Zoe say it, I, I, that was fun. That was that was fun. It was cool that Bill put in real actual lines that were in there, including his father. There's a line from oh, his yeah. father. When you work hard, what is it? Oh, yeah. When you work I, Yeah, you get exhausted. Yeah, I, I want to give it away. Give it, well, give you it seen the, oh, are we giving it away? Am I giving it away by doing yeah, this? Or? No, I've seen it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, no, but your viewers, though. But yeah, oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't want. Oh, okay, I won't give it away because if that line oh, to me is that line is something I I I yeah yeah I, I imply that in my life today. Yeah, there's a there's a certain line there. I just don't want to give it away. It's the truth. I forget because you saw it. That's why I'm saying it. Yeah, of course, of course. No, absolutely. Uh, I'm sorry to the three of you. We're running out of time. And this is, I could chat with you all forever. This is just wonderful. I really appreciate it. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm just hoping what, I'm just wondering what you hope people take away from the film as we, as we wrap it up. Well, I mean, what, what we hope people will take away from the movie is again, these authentic uh, values of this particular family it, hopefully it inspires people to they could see what happens or whatever it's ultimately about the way we all behave and maybe we as an audience can take away from this family's example and and you know maybe move their lives in some way. So, i agree absolutely yep. well i really appreciate a chance to speak with all three of you thank you so much Thank you. Well. Thank you so much. Thank too, as you well. Thank for you. your time. Thank you. You God bless. Bye. See you. God bless.